What is up, gang? It is I, Carlton Flowers, your crypto pro. Yay! And today, we are going to take a brief look at the Bitcoin chart and the Solana chart. Because there's talk, word in the streets, that we are due for some type of big correction. So we are going to check out the chart and see if we can find any evidence that will support this thought that the correction is soon to come. But first, I must remind you all that this is absolutely not financial advice. This is merely an opinion. We're just looking at the chart together using some simple technical analysis techniques, chart reading, so we can get a clue and make a determination on whether or not we agree that there could be a correction coming. And I think that we will be able to come to a conclusion before the end of this short video. So starting out with Bitcoin on the four hour chart, what we see here is side banding. Since say the 28th, the 25th of January, where Bitcoin is really not doing much but bouncing around the point of control price which is the balance point where the majority of the buying and selling is centered around this price just above 43,000. Okay, so that's pretty boring. And usually after you have a long period of sidebanding where the stochastic peaks don't bring you up much and then the stochastic dips don't bring you down much, we just seem to be bouncing around sideways this is usually building up to an event where you're going to have an, a big extreme breakout. Now, the talk is that the breakout is going to be in the downward direction. Uh, there's nothing that we can tell here on this four-hour chart that will let us know which way it's going to go. Let's look at the one-day chart. And it's a little bit, uh, little bit more clear, but still confusing. So the first thing that I notice on this chart is that this area of side banding, which is also kind of uh, stuck to this big volume node right here, just above 43,000, the balance point, we are at a stochastic peak. We're already in the overbought zone. But twice, we had a little fake out where we had a bearish crossover right there, if you look real close. And then uh, we went back up again. And then we had another bearish cross right there. But now notice that the blue line is trying to curl up and cross the orange line and stay up here in the overbought zone. So which way is it going to go? I don't know. This might cross over. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see how this plays out. Now, on the MACD, what do we notice? We see the overall downtrend of the oscillators. We're downstairs below where we were below the zero line. The oscillators are below the zero line. And we see that the blue line, the fast line, looks like it's kind of curving down where it's looking for the orange line. But then to keep us confused, we went from light green bars on the histogram to a solid green, which says reversal or momentum is going up. Uh, I'd find it hard to believe that we're going to move back up and have a significant move to the top side. And the reason why I say that is because of what we're going to see on the one week chart and on the one month chart. Not to say that it can't happen because it's possible. So don't go betting the farm on the fact that we have this little cross over here and this green bar here. Don't go betting the farm because chances are it's a 50-50 shot and you cannot make a solid determination that the next move is going to go to the upside or the downside. Let's move on to the next chart on the one week chart. How does this look? Well, eh, it's equally as confusing. Why? Well, number one, we've got some conflicting indications. So we've got the little side bending period right here. We're way above the point of control price, which is way down at 20,000 of this visible range, but that includes the last bull market peaks. Okay, if we zoom in, that POC is going to move up because it's based on the visible range. The volume of Bitcoin bought at a particular price based on the time period that you see on this chart. That's why it's called visible range. 
Now, first of all, we see a bearish stochastic that has fallen out of the overbought zone, but we also notice that the blue line is trying to curl up. Is it trying to do one of these numbers where it's going to come back up and cross over the orange line? I don't know. Now, down below, we have a bearish indication because the blue line has just touched on the orange line, and it looks like it wants to cross over. And we also have gone from solid green to the light green, and we have now touched down on the zero line of the histogram. So uh, that's one for possibly bullish breakout, and then two for possibly bearish breakout. So I'm going to say the probability for this one is slightly leaning towards breaking to the downside, maybe chasing this volume node here or further on down below, but we'll just have to wait and see. Now where it gets a little bit more clear is on the one month chart. This is why I am not convinced that we are going to break to the upside. Here is the reason. You can clearly see it on the chart. I'll let you guess first before I tell you what it is. Okay? And if you guessed the stochastic indication, then you guessed right. You're reading my mind. Look at this. That is an absolute crossover of the fast line to the slow line. And notice where these peaks are. Okay? So when you look at the bull market peaks, here's the top on this stochastic, which coincides with that peak. Then you had one more stochastic peak, which was not as high, and that was a bearish divergence. That leads to the all-time high. But since this peak was less than that one, it was the indication that we were going to reverse and plunge into the bear market, which is what we did. Then we rallied all the way up until this point where we are right now. Let's make that one green. So we shoot on up, okay, and notice that we made it to the top of this stochastic cycle. But what do we see? A lower high. So here was a high, a higher high, and now a lower high coinciding with this stochastic peak. So do you think that we are going to stay up here in the overbought zone for the entirety of the year until we hit the real bull market? Is it possible that we just stay up in the zone above the 80 line? I don't think so. I've never seen it before. And when you look at what happened the last time, we did not stay here in the overbought zone from this first little peak all the way through the end of the bull run. We had a correction first, okay? We slipped down, made a nice bowl, and then after that correction, we go into the parabolic run to the bull market peak right there. Double top peak, first one that we ever had. I'm thinking that we're gonna have a cycle down halfway and back up, or it could be cycling all the way down and then back up and we hit the bull run. And the bull run, I don't think is gonna happen until later on this year or early in 2025. I do think that according to normal cycles, we're gonna have a correction. It's never blue skies straight from the bottom of a bear market all the way up to the next market cycle peak. It never happens that way. Um, I don't think that the insiders would allow it to happen because they probably want a good shake out, scare everybody out of the market, and then grab up all of the cheap Bitcoins somewhere down below. And then after that, release the bulls, run it up, take the profits at the new bull market peak. It's just money changing hands from one to the next. All right, so that's what I think about Bitcoin. Let's look at Solana real quick, and then we're done. So starting out with the four-hour chart on Solana, let's see. It's not telling us much. We're kind of moving up on the stochastic, but we also have a red bar up here forming on the price chart. So that's kind of a bearish divergence where stochastic is booming up, but price is coming down. And the point of control price, it's balanced right here where we're at at about $96. Uh, slightly leaning towards coming down and touching on the 200 EMA or further down to where we see this volume noted around 88, but that's just in the immediate. We're going to have to jump up to the one day chart to get a little bit more information. 
and we see this nice consolidation here, this nice run up, and now we're just kind of making this big triangle move. Um, but this is not definitive, okay? So we're stuck at this volume node. We could either break up from here or we could fall out of this and look for this $60 price on this volume node or maybe even the 40. I'm leaning towards the fact that Solana is going to break down because they did have technical difficulties and a network stoppage today, or was that yesterday? Well, whatever the case, Let's look at the one week chart for Solana and see if we can get some more clues. Now this one's a little bit more clear. Here's what I notice. You see this descending orange line? That kind of tells us something, even though it's just a tad bit confusing. Here is the previous bull market peak, all right? And then of course we had the big crash down to the FTX bottom. And then we ran price right back on up and notice where we got rejected on this orange line. I put this orange line up there and I've been watching to see if we break through it or if this orange line is going to become a resistance point where we come up to it and then boom, get rejected and come back down to somewhere around this red dash line that is underneath $40. Now, what are we looking at downstairs on the MACD? Well, there is an impending crossover coming right in front of our very eyes on the oscillators with the MACD, but the stochastic is fooling us. The red line and the blue line are smashed together and running just horizontal. So we don't know for sure if we're wanting to break this way or that way, but when you look at the lagging oscillators here, I'm kind of leaning towards a breakout to the downside knowing that we're probably not going to just run this thing all the way up through the peak of the next bull market cycle. I'm thinking we're going to get a good healthy correction, some side banding, some consolidation down here, and then the next move once we get to the bull market. Okay, so what do you think are we due for a correction on Bitcoin and Solana? And what do you think the fallout is going to be? I'll tell you one thing that I'm thinking is that if we do have a correction, we're probably going to be looking at some cheap prices on altcoins. Something I did want to uh, get put in here. I forgot to give a shout out to John B. Kettle <laughs> for his secret thanks of $4.99 on the last video. Thank you, John. And also Tonarona for the super thanks of $1.99. I appreciate your support. That's all I've got for now. So post in the comments and let me know what you think is gonna go on. And then I will be posting a meme update and we're gonna have to troll some people. We had some trolls in the last video and we're gonna talk about them really bad in the next video. Well, that's about all I've got for now. This is Carlton and I am out.